Happy Tuesday to you. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco with your needs to know weather. We're drier today, but also cooling off. Temperature readings in the morning running 5 to 10 degrees cooler compared to yesterday with highs in the low 70s. We do have a chance for some wet weather tomorrow. That chance for rain up to 20 to 30 percent, just depending on where you are as a weak disturbance crosses the area. But you will get to enjoy some sunshine today. The morning will start off with some clouds, maybe even a sprinkle or two with temperature readings during the afternoon in the upper 60s to low 70s. You'll notice much of the state will be below normal for this afternoon, with the exception of folks down south around Laredo and Brownsville. Temperatures there warming into the low 80s. Lots of sunshine across the Lone Star State today, although clouds increase later on this afternoon into the evening out toward West Texas and the Big Bend of Texas. We'll be monitoring disturbance tomorrow morning that's going to fling some clouds across the area, but also the rain chances going up. I did increase the rain chance to 30% as our computer models are a little bit more aggressive with some of this rain pushing through the area. We do have a lot of dry air to overcome, so I think these are mainly a few sprinkles, but there could be an isolated rumble of thunder, especially in our far northwest counties, and can't rule out the possibility of even some hail contained within these thunderstorms. We've got a disturbance that'll be crossing late in the evening on Wednesday, and that could have some impacts on our far northern counties. Maybe a couple of loud thunder boomers there, again, could contain some hail with some a couple of those thunder boomers, but that should be weakening as it approaches the I-10 corridor during the overnight hours on Thursday. So be prepared. Some of our far northern counties could see some measurable rain uh, within the next 36 to 48 hours, mainly Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then looking ahead as we get closer toward the Easter holiday weekend, the rain chances will be going up. Good Friday's looking good, but that rain chance slightly higher for Easter. Right now, penciled in a 20% chance of rain. And as we close out the month, welcome the new month. We've got a wetter, more active weather pattern as our next cold front is penciled in for next Wednesday. That chance for showers and thunderstorms going up to 40% at this point. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Tuesday. Thanks for watching.